This Kill Lane Living segment is sponsored by Vinyl Taco. Fresh Mexican street food, cervezas, margaritas, and signature cocktails served in a vibrant music-themed space. is a culture phenomenon in the United States. People often mistake Cinco de Mayo for a celebration of Mexican independence, but they're wrong. The actual day celebrates a failed invasion by France after Mexico defaulted on its loan payments to European governments. So you could say that the whole thing started over a bad check. That's the end of today's history lesson because it's time to celebrate Mexican culture and for us an opportunity to indulge in a spicy, mar spicy margarita or another equally Cinco de Mayo inspired cocktail. Shannon Way is the mixologist at Vinyl Taco in Sioux Falls and he's going to mix up some cocktails in honor of their Cinco de Mayo celebration tonight. I'm excited for this because spicy margaritas are my favorite cocktail. All right, that makes sense. Are we going to start with that one? Very good. We're going to make that one first. Yay. Yeah. So I'm going to start with a little bit of syrup in here. And uh, four jalapenos, probably. Four, perfect. If, if it's your favorite, we're going to go four. Otherwise, I might pump the brakes and go three. <laughs> you know why peppers are hot? I know that it's like the seeds that make it the hot part, yeah. right? Yeah, well, see, when the earth was young, you know, when peppers were young, they were sick of, like, bugs and birds and critters, like, picking on their seeds. Yeah. So they developed this kind of a defense mechanism uh, called capsaicin. It's like a little, tiny, oily little molecule, right? Really? And it stains heat when it gets into any chemical receptor. So it's uh, like chemical warfare, kind of. Hmm. I yeah. didn't know that. What was that that you just added? Oh, uh, lime juice. Lime juice, yeah, okay. Just some plain lime juice. I'm going to go ahead and put Patron in this one here. Oh, I know you. You I like do the Julio. Like Don Julio. So we're yep. going to do Julio. And actually, Vinyl Taco is going to do Julio, too. Okay. So now we're getting the real, real deal. <laughs> yeah. And then a little bit of Patron, Orange Citron, their orange flavored cordial. And uh, just going to go ahead and uh, I'm just going to stir this around a little bit mix here just to mix it up. Um, don't want to bruise any of the booze in here, you know? When you think of a spicy margarita, when someone is looking at the title of that, they might be turned off right away because they're thinking, oh, I don't like spicy. And I'm not a huge fan of spicy foods, but I love spicy margaritas. Okay, So yes. how would you describe that to people, too, uh, that? Well, it is spicy, yeah, spicy flavor in there. Um, but let's take, let's take rewind. Let's go back to our little chemistry we were talking about earlier, earlier that uh, capsaicin, okay? Mm -hmm. It's a tiny little oily-like molecule. Um, but, you know, it has a smaller molecule. Okay. Alcohol has a smaller molecule. So it can lift it up out of your taste buds. So you're drinking okay. this and you're thinking, whoa, you know, this is spicy. This is spicy. But then the booze lifts it up on out of your uh, chemical receptors. Okay, that makes sense. Pretty cool, right? Like a lot of people think, oh, milk is the solution. Right. And milk is <laughs> when a solution. When you're eating something spicy. You know, if you let it soak for a long time. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Oh, that is so good. Yeah. <laughs> that is so, so good. That's one of the best spicy margaritas I've ever had. Mm. Easy to make, too. Yeah. What's uh -huh. next? Uh, next is going to be the watermelon punch margarita. Okay. So this one, we are going to use our Patron in there. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to take one unit of our Patron. We're going to do one unit of our watermelon, uh, you know, schnapps here. Woo! We're going to do one unit of our lime juice. Uh, half of some syrup. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stir this a little bit here. I heard a guy on the radio, he was like a master bar... <laughs> mixologist. You know, yeah, yeah, mixologist, yeah. And he said the perfect amount of times to stir a drink is 30. 30 times around. 30 times. I don't yeah. know if we have time for that, I do don't we? know if that was 30. Um, <laughs> you know, it goes by quicker than you think. Um, and then on top of that, a little bit of lemon-lime soda. Ooh, I don't think I've ever had anything with a watermelon flavor to it, so I'm curious. All right. It's going to well, taste like summer, go. huh? Yeah. All right, let's try this one. Ooh, <laughs> that's really refreshing. Yeah, that's kind of like a beach one. This yeah. doesn't taste like alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> that could be dangerous. Yeah. Watermelon punch. That could be really yeah. dangerous. I'm, I still love yeah. my good spicy margarita, though. <laughs> All right, what's the last one? Uh, the last one is called the Silver Breeze. I guess it's kind of a juicier take on a Paloma. Okay. So we're going to do one and a half units of our Patron here. 
Um, and then like a Paloma, we're starting with this grapefruit juice. Okay. Hence the fruity like you mentioned. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, cranberry juice. Cranberry? Yes, cranberry. Ooh, nice color already. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stir that one up a little bit. And you're stirring it before you add the final ingredient. I noticed on this watermelon one and this one. Yeah. Sometimes that gives it kind of a pretty like ombre effect, you know, inside of the glass. Okay. Lemonade on the top. Lemonade on the top. Yeah. I think this one's gonna taste like summer too, huh? There you go. Possibly. That's probably the least sweet, you know. We got a couple bitter fruit juices in that one. Ooh. Again, though, I don't taste the alcohol. <laughs> oh my goodness. Those are also good. I definitely would say the watermelon's the fruitiest. This one is also fruity, but not overbearing at all. And then the spicy margarita is <laughs> spicy, but it's good. Yeah, that's the coup de gras right it's there. It's so, so yeah. good. Oh, I just love a good spicy margarita. Yeah. If you've never had one, you'll want to try one. Now, when it comes to Cinco de Mayo, too, how are you guys celebrating? Oh, we got these drink specials. I think all of the drink specials are eight bucks. Um, we got some, you know, different drawings, all sorts of cool bar swag that I saw in the in the office, you know. <laughs> and Vinyl Taco really has a special, unique place as far as what it comes like yeah, when it's the cool experience. Space. Yeah, it's one of the best looking places in town as, mm -hmm. as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. It kind of feels like Cinco de Mayo there every single day. You're right. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. Yeah. And, and maybe we got to get some beach cocktails, you know? Right. Uh, so you said uh, uh, it's not Independence Day. That's uh, Dia del Independencia. Yeah. That's September 16th. That's a perfect time for a beach, you know, on-site beach uh, cocktail uh, mixing party. So. Yeah, definitely. And obviously, we just made some great drinks. They taste fantastic. But there are great food options. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Get yourself a crispy chicken mango, you know, or a grilled shrimp. Crispy chicken mango. I don't think I've had that one before. It's good eats. Yeah, it's good it is. I don't know if bowl. I could say that. That might be copyright infringement. <laughs> <laughs> right? No, but the food, the drinks, everything's great. And I just love the games and everything that you guys have there to play while you're there. So it's a really fun time to hang out, socialize, and I like the bowling. Well, cheers. Thank you so much for joining us here today and bringing my favorite cocktail. You're welcome. Yes, you're welcome. Delicious. Make your plans now to celebrate Cinco de Mayo with your friends tonight at Vinyl Taco, where they're not only serving up 14 delicious varieties of tacos, they've also got delicious margaritas. Everything from the tortillas to the guacamole are made in the house every day. You'll find Vinyl Taco at 3609 Southwestern Avenue in Sioux Falls. You can also find their complete food and drink menu online at VinylTaco.com. And don't forget to check out the fun and games in the Vinyl Social Club. The club is jam-packed with all sorts of fun like skee-ball, arcade games, duck pin bowling, a stage for potential lip sync or karaoke showdowns, and a DJ spinning more vinyl. They've also got a different margarita special nearly every day of the week. This Kelloland Living segment has been sponsored by Vinyl Taco. Fresh Mexican street food, cervezas, margaritas, and signature cocktails served in a vibrant music-themed space.